Hi everyone, it's Caitlin from the Queenie Sports and Wellness Center. Today we are going to make maple seed dragonflies. So they're going to look something similar to this. So what you're going to need is you're going to need twigs. Um, make sure you get twigs that have offshoots at the end. Um, you can cut them shorter, but these are going to be your antennas, so that's why they have to be there. Maple seeds, you want two different sizes so that when you put your leaves together, they kind of offset each other. So a bigger one, a smaller one. And then that way when we put them on our twig, um, it'll kind of look like this, okay? Um, you're going to need paint, acrylic paint to be specific. You'll definitely need that. You can use water-based paints for painting your maple seeds. So they can be brown or green, the maple seeds, when you pick them um, up in the lawn. doesn't matter because you're going to paint them. Um, water-based colors for that if you would like, or you can use acrylic paint on them as well. You're going to need a cup of water um, so that you can clean your paint brushes. So your paint brushes paper towel, and a hot glue gun. Please make sure that if you are younger that you are having your parents help you do this so that you don't burn yourself. Um, as well with the acrylic paint, it might be a good idea to make sure you don't have good clothes on uh, because it doesn't wash as e easily as water-based paint. I also put down a garbage bag on my surface so that if the hot glue gets onto it, I can just throw this out, paint's gonna get on it, and again, I can throw it out. So garbage bag, newspaper, whatever you want to cover your table. Okay, so I'm gonna take my twig. So I've picked this one. So as you can see, I have two little antennas on them. Again, if they're too long, you can cut them. I picked two different sized maple seeds. So these are going to be my wings and I'm going to paint them. So first let's start with painting our maple seeds. So again, pick whatever colors you would like. I'm going to go with my two bluey acrylic paint colors. Again, like I said, you can use water based on this. That's not a problem. But for the antennas in the body of your twig, you're going to need your acrylic paint. Okay, so going to put a little bit of paint on my shaker <laughs> put it on my garbage bag and I'm gonna put this other blue as well so the first color I used um, this is called desert turquoise and this is ocean breeze Then I'm going to paint my leaves. So I know it's hard to see what I'm doing, but I'm just painting the entire leaf that desert turquoise color so it looks like this you want to make sure sorry before you paint them that you take the twigs off the bottom of your maple seed so as you can see I don't have a twig on here um, the other ones I picked up do so just make sure that you remove this part before you paint them and then that way you just don't have to put your hands in the paint okay so one's painted and now I will paint my other one Can blend your colors together if you would like fancy as you would like to get I like to use the garbage bags, like I said, just because I can put my paint right on it because I'm going to throw it out anyways. So dip this in, clean it off. Clean off my other paintbrush. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our twig, okay, 
and you're gonna put the leaves on the top of the twig so it's not gonna go on the base so you want to make sure your color is up so the part of the leaf you didn't paint that's the part you're gonna glue on to the twig okay so because this is the painted side I'm gonna glue it on like this on top of the twig and I'm going to glue my um, maple seeds upside down because it looks more like a wing so if I use one of the other ones I haven't painted just so that one dries a bit more if I have now you don't have to do it upside down it is whichever way you prefer but if I do it this way I can paint it like glue it on like this so that they're upwards or you can glue it to this way so that the seed part is down this is the way I'm going to do it because it looks more like wings, but again, it's whichever way you prefer. So I'm going to take my maple seeds, I'm going to get ready to glue them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the hot glue on the maple seed itself and then press it onto the tree. So again, the back side that's not painted, that's the side we're going to glue. So again, please remember if you are doing this and you are younger, that you are having an adult help you glue because we don't want you to burn yourself. So I'm gonna stick it on my tree or my twig. Again, it's up to you where you wanna put it. I'm gonna put it closer to my antennas so there's not a space between the antenna and the wing. Um, I just like that look a bit better, but again, like I said, there is no rules wherever you would like to put it on. And I'm just pulling off that stringy part of the glue. Okay, then I'm going to take my second one, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to paint it. I mean paint it. Oh my goodness, we already painted it. I'm going to glue it. Just enough glue that it will stick to your twig. You don't want to over glue it. You don't need a lot. I'm going to stick it on there. I'm going to press it down just for a couple of seconds just so it sticks to my twig. All right, again pulling off that extra stringy part. So, so far, this is what my maple, my dragonfly looks like, okay? So see how I said I made it closer to the antennas right here? There's not that big space. So that's up to you if you wanna leave a space, it's whatever you prefer. I just put it closer because I like it um, to look more uh, towards the head of the body. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my color of acrylic paint and we're now gonna paint the antenna and the body of our dragonfly. So I'm going to pick, I think I'm gonna go with the desert turquoise color. So I'm gonna put a bit on my garbage bag. I take my paintbrush, make sure it doesn't have any of those other paints on it dried off a bit. Oh, hot glue. Don't want that. I'm going to stick it in my paint. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to paint my antennas. Painting them. So I'm going to paint underneath too, just so there is no brown. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to paint the body of my dragonfly. So as you can see, my um, antennas have been painted. So now I'm gonna paint the middle part, which means I'm gonna paint over top of the seeds. that paintbrush off just a bit because I need a little bit more and I got some of that other turquoisey color in there and there we go 
that in there. I'll let it sit. And there is our dragonfly. Ooh, some more glue gun. So there you go. There's your dragonfly. Again, pick any colors you want. Um, like I said, your seeds can be painted in water-based paint. The acrylic will hold up better than the water-based. It won't be so see-through, so you'll get more of the true color of your paint if you use the acrylic paint. Definitely need the acrylic paint for the antennas and the body, though. So as you can, I don't know how close you can see this, but the middle part of my, right here, this is the body of the dragonfly. Don't go down too far on here because this is kind of like the thin part of the dragonfly. So generally they're not that nice color. Um, they're just a brownie color to begin with. So this part is what you're gonna paint the same color as your antennas, okay? Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have fun. Um, take pictures of your final product, put, post them on our Facebook page. I wanna see them. They're gonna look great. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's whatever um, you think looks good. Uh, and it's always easy to fix with the hot glue. You can take it off, grab many twigs, many seeds, do it as many times as you want, but please make sure you post those pictures. I wanna see them. And thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.